Hey there, I'm Daisy Whitney reporting for BTV at the Cable Show in Los Angeles. Just talked to Rebecca Glashow at Discovery. She heads up digital distribution there, and she talked to us about what's entailed in the company's launch of a 3D network early next year, and also the challenges that remain ahead in accessing cable shows online. So, Rebecca, Discovery is going to be launching a 3D network in 2011. Update us on where things stand with that. Yeah, we are very excited. We announced at CES this year that Discovery will be launching the first 24-7 uh, linear network with uh, Sony and IMAX as partners. And the network will be launching sometime next year. We are in the process of hiring a GM, and obviously once he or she is in place, we'll have a much clearer picture on timing. But uh, we're very excited. The content's... Um, starting to be produced as we speak. What will be on it? What will we see? It will be uh, content from Discovery Networks and some of our other um, TLC Animal Plant, the other networks under the portfolio, as well as uh, content that's coming from IMAX and from Sony. You'll have content that's produced in 3D originally and then some upconverted content as well. So the big thing that consumers want to know is will they have to wear glasses to watch it? They will. In this world, uh, you, you still do need the glasses, um, but there's been a lot of um, success so far with the sets out in the marketplace and there seems to be a lot of enthusiasm and there'll be a big push over the holiday time and when you get or set you do get the glasses with it but I think that adds to the excitement the glasses are not your mom and pa 3D glasses anymore they're they're a lot cooler it's so. a little bit sturdier than the plastic yeah, ones yeah. you get at the movie they'll theater. last they can't be torn apart by your children so uh, you do have to wear glasses it'll probably be a while until that's not the case so let's talk about TV everywhere a little bit that's mm -hmm. one of uh, one of the areas that you shepherd at Discovery and Discovery is involved with the Comcast trial where did things stand with that what are some of the challenges going forward as that rolls out in the cable business? Business. Yeah, well, TV Everywhere is you know a very Im ambitious industry-wide initiative. So it's being driven by many of the operators um, across the board, satellite, telco, as well as you know a lot of programmers have been on board early to test it. You know, it's a it's a great concept that ultimately you know you're paying once for a subscription service and you're getting content on multiple platforms, so online, mobile. Um, so for the consumer, I think it's a great value and it's a great way to preserve the subscription model, which is an ecosystem that we all thrive in, in the cable world. Um, there's some business challenges that I think we're all trying to figure out. We participate in trials now to try to answer some of those questions, and a lot of them are around measurement of the content. If you're putting content online, you're putting it in a C3 window, are you getting the measurement um, through Nielsen or through whatever the, um, the measurement system that's gonna be embraced, sort of, you know, that's, that's kind of a little bit TBD. Um, then how do you window the content? And Discovery has incredibly compelling content that's evergreen. So once you play it the first time, great, that's one window, but we play content continuously on the network and on other platforms where we continue to see a lot of value. It, you know, our library really lasts. So how do we window that so you're not just putting your entire network um, online? And um, there's also a lot of questions around security, how to make sure that you're not um, hindering you know, second home business, how do you make sure people aren't abusing the system, and then mobility, which is you know, completely out of the wheelhouse of you know, what the cable operators and, and, and the programmers do together now, and how do we work together on that side of the business. Do you have a sense of when these myriad challenges will be sorted out and this will become yeah. the norm, something everyone has access to? Well, everybody to? knows, I mean, you, you can't figure out everything. I mean, it, you can't wait around for everything to be figured out. Clearly, we, we have to sort of move forward to make sure there's a compelling um, business model for online video for the programmers, for the operators, and for the consumer. So I think, you know, you can certainly start to see people playing with content online now. The question is, how do you open up the premium content? And that's where security and measurement will become key. There's certainly a lot that I think you'll see almost in sort of a VOD window where you see content that maybe is not necessarily as current, but is compelling online. But how do you, when you, when you want to move to the next day or live content, you have to figure out those business issues. Thank so. you, Rebecca. Yeah, you're welcome.